Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here, New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia. A three million copy bestseller, The Man in the Mirror. And this has been considered since it came out one of the best book for men. I would guess, you know, it's put out obviously from a Christian viewpoint as forward by R.C. Sproul, recently passed away, one of the great geniuses of our day in a lot of ways. But, uh, I mean, it's just observation. Let's see, this is put out by Zondervan, which is owned by HarperCollins. I thought it was said HarperCollins. But, and, and so, like, some of the rec recommendations, Mark Batterson, the circle maker, you know, Ben Carson, presidential candidate Dave Ramsey, Robert Wogelmuth, James McDonald, um, all this. So, and let's look a little bit of who... Patrick Morley is before we get into the book because I, I found this was fascinating um, okay um, Morley graduated with honors from the University of Central Florida earned a PhD in management completed postgraduate studies at Harvard Business School and Oxford University and also graduated from Reformed Theological Seminary and I thought this may tell when it came out initially. Let's see here. So, first Zondervan edition, 1997. Now, uh, it actually has a copyright of 1989, though. 1989. So, I remember when I was in Christian book selling, we used to sell just a lot of these. And one of the neat things is, like at CBD right now, you can get this book for a dollar forty-nine ish. You have to watch, catch them on sale. And then I passed them out at our church for Father's Day, and you get them even less. I think it was maybe $1.25. I don't remember. Maybe they were $1.99. I got them for $1.49. Maybe I got them for a dollar. I don't remember. Okay, so here's the table of contents. The rat race, leading an unexamined life. Biblical Christian or cultural Christian. See, all these are very important. Significance, the search for meaning and purpose. By the way, The Search for Significance by McGee is another great book. Purpose, why do I exist? The secret of job contentment. Solving your relationship problems. Broken relationships. Children, how to avoid regrets. Wives, how to be happily married. Friends, risk and reward. Solving our money problems. Money, a biblical uh, point of view. The four pillars of financial strength. Solving our time problems. Decisions, how to make the right choice. Priorities, how to decide what's important. Time management, doing God's will. Redeeming the time. Remember, a couple times in the New Testament. Solving men's temperament problems. Pride, fear, anger, the desire to be independent. Avoiding suffering. Solving our integrity problems. Integrity, what's the price? You know, integrity comes from integer, meaning whole. Leading a secret thought life. Ooh. Uh, accountability, the missing link. Conclusion, how can a man change and a new afterward by Patrick Morley. And it's 399 pages. I'll show you like this is leading a secret thought life. As, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So, and that's another great book by Allen, by the way. I've read that multiple times. Really love that book. So I have not read this book. I want to, but... There's several million books I'd like to read, and I just, I'm going to die. And I would really like to win the world to Jesus, so that's way more important. So, um, this is considered, selected as one of the 100 most influential Christian books of the 20th century. So, The Man in the Mirror, Solving the 24 Problems Men Face think you might like it. I may get around to reading it one day. Hope I can, but I uh, just want to make you aware that it's out there. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus.